Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're covering the menu nav icon with a navbar opens element trigger. We're going to be creating a fairly advanced open and close of our hamburger menu. It's going to transition into an X and it only looks difficult to create, but with a Lottie icon, it's super easy. Creating something like this with IX2 is totally possible but it would require either a lot of knowledge of IX2 or a lot of time. So we're using just a single Lottie icon. We're going to apply two steps inside IX2 and this is going to be done. First, let's make sure that we are using the Webflow native navbar. That is a requirement for this implementation. If you're not using the native navbar, you'll have to apply on mouse click, not navbar opens and we are using our element trigger navbar opens on the parent, the outer parent, the nav component, because that's the only one that we can apply the, the element trigger to. You'll see that if we go and click on this nav wrapper and we try to do navbar opens, it's not gonna work. It's not even gonna let us click. We can click on any element in here and it will not let us apply this we must be on this navbar primary outer parent class. And we see the little house here to indicate that. And when we go to apply the trigger, we have the option of navbar opens. So when navbar opens, we're going to have our nav open play. And when the navbar closes, we're gonna have our nav close play. So let's jump into this, see how this is set up. First, let's go to open and we will see that we are targeting our nav icon. And you can see that when we play this, we're going to animate from the hamburger to the X. We can have this duration set to whatever we want. Two seconds could actually work. Some could see it a little slow. Some could see it as a good speed. We can also break this up. Maybe we want the, the circle going around to go faster or slower. We can have different steps here. Right here, we have one step going from the 0% to 34%. We could break this up and have one go to 34 at five seconds. And let's do 20 at three seconds. This will be ridiculous, but it's just showing you what we can do here. Really slow and then fast at the end. That's a little too ridiculous. Here, let's look at this. So really slow to start and then really fast. So that was a extreme example, but the idea is that you can set up different timed actions here so that you can customize the exact speed that you want. And let's just go and remove this. We're gonna set this back to 34 at one second. Cool. Okay, navbar open, looking great. This is exactly what we want. Now let's go to navbar close. And again, one timed animation, and it's going to go back to 0% for one second. So we're not gonna see this play here, but we can do this and then do that. But it's not gonna show here in IX2. Let's just go in preview and we'll see this working quite nicely. And there we go. It's that easy to create this really custom looking and feeling hamburger to X animation. That's how you implement the menu nav icon with a navbar opens element trigger. That's effing sweet.